Good morning, bonjour, uh, comment allez-vous? I took some French in school, but it's not so great, so I will probably keep it to a minimum. Où est la piscine? Okay, I know. Um, so yeah, uh, je m'appelle Giuseppe. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces out there, but if you don't know me, I'm an open source engineer at a little company called IBM. And uh, by little, I mean like super huge. And also, uh, we do a lot of open source, which not a lot of people know, but I take the opportunity to mention any chance I get. Uh, in fact, some people say we do the most open source, but you know, these are opinions. But um, I, I, I get the great opportunity to do uh, lots of work in the community um, and in the foundation and in open source overall. And I'm currently the chairperson of the Cross Project Council, as uh, Robin mentioned. And it's been exciting since the uh, announcement of the intent to merge uh, last year at la the last uh, Node Plus JS Interactive. And we've been working tirelessly on, on bootstrapping the foundation and getting the Cross Project Council, the CPC, up and running. And things started to get you know, really exciting. And with that merger, we brought in uh, collectively uh, 30 some odd projects. I was looking last night trying to find like a page that had all of our projects in a nice grid. I couldn't find one. So I went to our Slack and this is the best I could find, but uh, it is not at all accurate. So don't, um, don't quote me on that. That's not the gospel. Um, but I will take this moment actually to mention uh, openjsf.org slash collaborate. Uh, you can get on our Slack channel, uh, our Slack, um, uh, instance and uh, see our calendar and all sorts of ways to get more involved. Um, so yeah, and with that excitement, uh, as we've been ramping things up, uh, we've had some uh, a lot, lots of interest in the foundation. Uh, we now have one, one home for, for JavaScript related uh, projects in the community, uh, uh, you know, under a foundation. And so the, the first project is, as uh, Robin had mentioned earlier, we, we were super excited about NVM joining. And then uh, AMP followed after that, and Fastify recently, which is really exciting. And then the huge announcement this morning, which is, which is really super duper exciting, is Electron joining, right? So boom, right? We, we've got lots of progress, lots of excitement. Things are going well. La baguette. Um, so how, how many projects do we want to, 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 uh, to scale up to? You know, these things are exciting times, progress and growth. Uh, how big do we want to get? And it's an interesting question, one that I don't think we really have an answer for. And I think the main thing is to just figure out how to uh, scale uh, what we're doing in a, in a thoughtful and considerate way that, that um, you know, the ideas and the plans that we want to execute for our uh, projects and for our community that we can do them well and, and um, succeed there. But how many projects, right? So this is maybe not a fair comparison. This is a screen grab from the Apache Foundation. They have like over 300 projects, I think. Uh, but they've been around for a while, so maybe uh, somebody who's a little bit newer. This is uh, the Cloud Native Computing uh, Foundation's project landscape. They have a lot of projects. Um, like, I think we may need Big Int to figure out how many projects they have. Uh, so we don't, you know, I don't know, that's not really in our future, uh, at least the near future, but we are growing. And there's lots of interest, so perhaps, perhaps you're involved in a project that uh, is, is considering, you know, the benefits that it may get from a foundation um, and, and the benefits that it can bring to a foundation. So perhaps you're thinking about what makes uh, you know, a, good, a good fit for uh, a foundation, whether ours or, or others. So the good news is that we do all of our work in, uh, in the open, and we have uh, lots of documentation on, uh, online in our, in our GitHub repo. It's um, slash, github slash open jsf slash um, uh, cross project council. Anyway, you'll, you'll find it. Uh, but there's lots of stuff in there, including our new project application, which I've got some snippets from here. Um, you can 
get a little bit of guidance about uh, some things to be considering, like alignment with the foundation, impact, and, and, and governance and stuff. So let's, let's maybe dig into a couple of those. So uh, I suggest if you're interested to, to kind of read through um, the documentation there and, and kind of get a feel for the foundation and the work that the Cross Project Council is doing and you know, see how your project may align with that. And then also some things to consider uh, are like the, the impact uh, in the ecosystem of the project that you're involved in, who, who are using it, um, who is using it, what, what are the potential long-term uh, adoption uh, on how it may uh, differ and contrast with other projects. And then something that's, that's really important to, to us at the, the foundation um, is open governance. And uh, you know, so, so the question you may ask yourself is what does your leadership team looks like, look like? Uh, how are they elected? Um, how are individuals outside of the leadership team given uh, access to the project? Um, things along those lines that are you know, uh, good open governance um, points. And then also how your project uh, measures up to what we've kind of collectively agreed upon that are good uh, standards in place for having a welcome and opening, uh, uh, open um, project to be involved in. So, you know, code of conduct, uh, governance documentation, and, and like contribution guidelines. And I'll, I'll have a quick shout out to GitHub who's done really great work at outlining like what, um, you know, good, good aspects of projects that are welcoming and good spaces to get involved in, which is really super important. So, um, it, a couple other points to consider is, uh, you know, what is your maintainer community like? And I, I mention this because uh, you don't, if you're looking to grow that, uh, to like really ramp up your maintainer community, going to the foundation is not the greatest idea. You want to kind of cultivate that first and then let the foundation help you organically grow that. Um, like what, what's, what's the pulse of the project? What's the health of your project? Um, what are, what are the goals and how do they align with the foundation and what sort of uh, overlap and, and synergy, for lack of a better word, do you have with uh, the other projects in the foundation? So yeah, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have a summary slide per se, but I, I just wanted to encourage you to consider this and the work that you're doing or projects that you may be involved in and also take this opportunity to encourage you to look at the work that we're doing in the foundation. Like I said, everything's online. Uh, you can find our calendar at that openjsf.org slash collaborate. Um, we do all of our meetings are live streamed. All of our meeting notes are PR'd in, into GitHub. A lot of the magic is in the issues and the pull requests. And it's really kind of exciting to just you know get involved uh, uh, there, there's very low barrier to entry, and we encourage folks to uh, attend the meetings and, and really kind of just dig in. So, uh, you know, feel free to come and talk to me or anyone else at the foundation or anyone else in the in the projects. Uh, as Robin said earlier, and I actually was going to name my my talk this, so uh, it's kind of funny that she had the slide up there. But one plus one equals three, right? The more we work together, uh, uh, the better that we do, and. Yeah, feel free to, to, to connect with me. I hope to be seeing you. That's my Twitter. My DMs are open. Uh, reach out. Oh, one, one other plug. Um, Jory and I have a talk on uh, day two about the work that we've been doing in the Cross Project Council and kind of digging into the nitty gritty there. And uh, we will have like an open office hours after that talk. Uh, so there are more opportunities to, to engage with us and, and find out you know, what we're working on and how you might be able to get involved. So thank you. <laughs>